Netherlands, we have agreed to sign a free trade deal with the UK to protect our country's commercial relations from the effects of Brexit. On Tuesday, December 29, the free trade deal will be signed by both countries. This will be our most important trade deal so far after the customs union agreement with the EU. A new win-win era is starting both for Turkey and the UK in 2021. All right, let's get some analysis on this from Hakan Akba. She's a senior advisor at Albright Stonebridge Group, global strategic advisory and commercial diplomacy firm. Thank you so much for joining us on the program. Now, with this deal, can we expect an increase in trade between the two countries? Absolutely. Uh, UK is uh, our uh, second top uh, export destination, and um, UK is going to be signing the first uh, free trade agreement following a landmark Brexit deal with EU. Obviously, uh, Turkey is uh, very important for the UK and vice versa. Going forward, uh, each country will have no quota and no tariff uh, access to each other's market, just like uh, we have uh, the under the customs uh, agreement with EU. And going forward uh, over the next two years, parties will also be negotiating on adding services like these services and agricultural products uh, to this uh, trade agreement. So it's very strategic uh, and also it is going to help deepen the economic and trade relationship uh, between Turkey and the UK. Right. And how exactly will these significant points that you mentioned affect ties between the two countries? Um, first of all, uh, if you look at uh, how important this is uh, from Turkey's perspective, uh, they are uh, our uh, number two export destination, and it is the only uh, export destination uh, that Turkey actually uh, has been enjoying a, uh, a surplus, uh, which is very critical. And uh, also, if you look at uh, the categories uh, that shapes the bilateral trade, we're looking at higher value added uh, sectors such as manufacturing, white goods, or automotive, and, and, and parts. Therefore, uh, as uh, the Brexit uncertainty is gone, and as Turkey uh, is looking to establish a, uh, a longer-term strategic ties with UK under mm -hmm. uh, Prime Minister Boris Johnson, um, a, a, a enjoying a, a non-tariff, uh, non-quota uh, sort of access uh, mm -hmm. to each other's market will make uh, trade easier. And as trade becomes uh, easier, obviously, uh, UK and Turkey will continue to invest in each other's markets. And right. last year, for example, U uh, UK invested over uh, $11 billion in terms of FDI. Mm -hmm. And uh, going forward, uh, as uh, the parties take on uh, a, a more liberal trade agreement, because remember, Turkey was overdue uh, upgrading their customs uh, right. agreement with EU, which, which basically fell apart. But now after Brexit, UK and Turkey will be uh, more free, if you will, to be able to discuss more avant-garde, more uh, digital and services related okay. uh, activities. So, uh, and again, Brexit was an uncertainty that is gone. Right. And uh, secondly, upgrading the post-Brexit uh, trade deal uh, is going to be much easier. And okay. also, uh, UK and, and Turkey will have more incentives to then uh, uh, sort of diversify the trade uh, agreement into other areas, whether right. it's defense-related, whether it's uh, uh, basically um, uh, I I sort of intelligence and and uh, security-related. So from okay. every aspect, this would be uh, a uh, another breakthrough for both parties. And just the fact that UK is doing actually is, is making a uh, free trade ag agreement right after the landmark uh, Brexit deal uh, says actually a great deal All about right. the strategic relations between two countries. Right. Hakan Akbash, I'm going to have to end that there for now. But thank you so much for sharing your insight with us here on TRT World. Thanks for having me.